The man responsible for the Copernican Revolution was born in Poland. He was widely read, a master of Greek and Latin, a doctor of law and a doctor of philosophy, and a doctor of medicine. This highly educated man was also a minor official in the Catholic Church. Copernic adapted the heliocentric system, and he placed the sun at the center of a series of circular orbits of the Earth and all the other planets. Ironically, because the planets do not move in circular orbits of the Sun, Copernicus's basic system no more accurately predicted the motions of the planet than the Ptolemaic model. It was, however, revolutionary because it naturally explained the phenomenon of retrograde motion. In the Copernican model, all the planets move directly in the same motion and sense around the Sun. It's an ordered and simple model where the nearer planets to the Sun move faster in their orbits. A necessary consequence of the Copernican model is that the stars must be extremely far away because no parallax is observed. Thus, Copernicus's model is revolutionary in two ways. One, because it displaces the Earth from the center of creation, and two, because it hypothesizes a vastly larger universe than the Greeks had considered.